Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Vue.js CRUD application. So guys, now in this video, we are going to learn how to edit and update the data using API in Vue.js. So guys, now let's get started. So as we have created the add student form, same way we are going to create a edit student form. Okay. So which will be copying this exact form and pasting it. So let's move back to our application and yep guys here you can see that create dot view so same way i'm going to copy and paste and rename as edit dot view okay perfect so file has been created guys and let me just change this heading to edit student okay go back to this student page i mean on this edit button okay so let's go to that edit button So here is my student view and yep and here is the edit button tell as students forward slash the ID and then forward slash the edit okay and here we have to concatenate the ID that is student ID okay so how can we concatenate here so one method is there you can add a colon here and just use this in a curly brace so open and close curly brace where we will tell this path colon and inside single quotes you can just mention this student and here you can add that I mean concatenated student ID in single quotes you can forward this edit let me let's save it and now let us get back to our front end when you refresh and click on edit button so I'm going to click on ID2 and here we click edit and you find that student ID2 and then edit. Okay. So make sure you are having the API also related to this URL. So now let me just show you we already have that much. Okay. So if I just paste here API student slash two slash edit the second record is going to display. So here you see that second record has come over here as I have created the API. So let me just show you how that API route is. So here is my route for edit the data. Okay. So if you want to learn this, how to create API in Laravel, please watch out the video that link given in the description. Okay. So guys, now let's get back as simple guys. We have gone to this part and now let us get back to our view application. And here we need to create a route according to this path as simple. Let's copy this path and go to your router index.js paste here and let us copy this and paste again. And here you change this path, copy this and paste here as simple. And now guys at this place student.id we need to get a random ID, right? So whatever ID we give. So for that you can just add colon ID. Okay. Start this from the root students then your random ID by giving colon inside that and then edit URL. Okay. As simple and then we will mention the name component name and here is a component which we are going to edit as student edit. And now let us import this component guys. So just import it import student edit from the component we have already created. Let me copy and paste here. So it's not create it's edit dot view which we have copied. Okay. As simple and now once you go to this edit dot view then you reach here. All set. Now you can just refresh and see that form comes. And now, guys, let us get the data from the API and display inside this input box. So you can get back. And as simple, guys, let's move below. And first step, we are going to change this name. Okay. So this form name is going to be student edit. And data and all, all the input fields, it's going to be same because we are going to insert or edit the data right so all the things are going to be same 
so first step on the page load so when you edit this form when you click on that edit button and this page loads what we have to do we have to call a axios call okay http call so that part you can do under mounted or created so let us tell take it as mounted and on this mounted i want the id to get okay so first we'll tell console.log so here this dot dollar route dot params dot id okay so this id is nothing but from your index.js okay so where is it let me show you so this is the id whatever name you gave here that part only should be called here okay so i am calling the id which means that id2 should be present so let me inspect and show you in the console log let's go to console and if you refresh here you get that id2 okay so this is id2 let me put id1 here and you'll find that id1 will be printed in the console log perfect guys so guys let's use this id and get the data as simple now you can comment this and just use one function get student data okay this is single data so we'll just mention student data function and inside this function i want to pass the id so we have already check the id we got it so we get this id and now you can copy this function name and create in your methods let's remove just create a function name and here let us tell it is a student id we are getting it and now guys you need to do http call so we are going to use axios to get the data from the api then function so guys make sure if you are using axios you need to import at the top if you don't have axios please install the axios by giving npm install axios okay and now let's get back and continue here so my response and then here you get your success response so before that you need to call the url so what was the api this is the api let's copy this and get back and paste here so now guys you need to mingle with this part here at this id so we cannot use single quotes instead we are going to use a tilde symbol which is below the escape button okay and let's paste here so now we are going to remove this id static id and just add dollar open and close curly brace and get this student id so we got the student id and it's done let me break this down so we can use here in a console.log we can see the response let's save and get back so refresh once so you got response guys here you can check in this data where you got the student record so now guys let us go and get that exact record response dot data dot student and now you can refresh and you get only student data yep so you have got the result guys and this data we are going to paste inside the input box so you can get back here and we are already using v model that goes to model student and its name okay so we have already in the data function so here is the path student dot name student dot course everything goes like that okay so let us copy this and just get back and here you can tell this dot model dot student dot name equal to here you get response dot data dot student dot name okay so this is one way method of calling it so i can show you here when we refresh you get that data in your input box name okay 
perfect so here also it's loaded and here also it's seen guys this is one way of adding your details or you can do one more thing directly you can assign all the student record inside this student variable okay and now if you refresh here you see all the input field names are already stored so why it is getting stored because the response we are getting okay from the that column name name course it is same as my input field name so it is able to store correctly so guys if you don't have the column name specified correctly then you can just use dot name and dot whatever you are assigning to it okay and now guys here if you don't find this id so what in case if you don't find the id i mean like you have number of 10 records but you don't have 11th record right so let me just add 11 id and that time you may get error okay so you see that 404 not found that is the error because you don't find that id in your database so guys to skip that you can just use this catch statement let me copy from below here you copy and paste it let's paste here if you want you can keep this or else you can remove all this remove and here guys you just need to mention 404 so when the message is 404 like you got this here right so it is 404 so at that time you will show this message so what message you are getting from your backend api let us just check that also so on this edit route okay on the edit function let us go there and here you see that we are getting a message okay which is no student id found so let's copy that and paste here so now let us show this in the alert message let's use alert function and paste that so whatever message you get you just pop up in the alert and ignore it so now guys you can save and let's test it refresh so you get get that no student id found perfect so now guys again let us just get back on the id number one so you have the id with the data okay so now guys let us get back to update the data okay so this was about the fetching of data we have successfully done with that and now once we click on this update button so let us change this button name to update and instead of save student let us rename the function as update student now you can copy this update student function name and get back to your methods and there paste it update students as simple guys now you need to change the url okay that means api url so my url to update is let me get back to my api so here i am using a put method so and the url is going to be same as we fetch the data okay so i can copy from top here is my url let me copy the same url uh, for updating it let's paste here as simple guys and here instead of post method we are going to type as put method because we are using the route as put to update the data and now guys whatever we get the data in the input we are sending it here and then guys once it is saved you get the response and you can so log and alert and empty the all the fields but we don't need to empty the fields okay it's a edit part so let's remove that and error list we need to empty once the data is updated and guys this is a catch function to catch the errors like input error means you are going to show 422 so guys there are two things in this update part so let us go to the api okay so one is for the input validation all done once the input validation is successful you will get here 
and here you are seeing that find function so if the id is not found then you are coming inside this else condition and showing the message so this is a 404 condition also so we need to add that condition too so here is my 422 for the input error and one more if condition for the 404 so let us paste here 404 and instead of displaying in the list we can just alert this alert and this is going to be a message okay because we are passing as a message not as error it's a message input fields are passed as errors okay so we both need to see that and now guys as we know this what is my this this is nothing but a variable which i have created and stored this into my this and then we are using that in the catch function to push all the errors list in a array variable okay error list variable so that's it for this update part so now guys let us just check out once and test it refresh and this is the id one guys let me display all the ids all the data so this is my total number of data on the api and here it is on the id1 it is with prakashian let me update it to varun govind okay and now let's update the email also to varun at gmail.com click on update okay student id not so why the student id is not found let's get back Oops, we are using the student ID so we have to declare it somewhere else so where we can use that in the data function okay so let's pass here student ID so in beginning it's going to be null and we are going to on this mounted this dot student ID equal to you get from your parameter URL url params and paste that in the student id so now you can follow this this dot student id in your update function update student so now you can use it here this dot student id which will be available so now guys let's get back and yep once again let's refresh and update the record okay it's loaded varun govind so here you update varun and let's click on update let's see what happens perfect so you got a message guys student updated successfully cool that's it and now guys you can refresh and you might see that the data is varun govind itself perfect so now guys let me just refresh this api and show you done guys so we have successfully done with how to edit and update the record in Vue.js using api okay so guys in this video that's it we have successfully learned how to edit and update the data and now guys let's continue next video with how to delete the data and also we'll be seeing how to show the data okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share